Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and it is a deep and very, very exciting honor to be with you here today. Today is Thursday, and I don't even know what day it is. We'll say it's the 11th, but it could be the 12th. Anyway, we're getting close to uh, the event that Master Shao will be having up in Aurelia. I'm excited about that. So starting next week, um, the 17th, which is a Monday, I believe. So Monday, I think, will be uh, my last day for about 10, about actually 17 days. Of course, I will return, but we're going to have a brief uh, drop there without me doing live events. What we'll be replacing those is um, the recorded events that I have already done in the past, along with some of the flows that have been done. And those are going to be exceedingly powerful and always excellent to watch again. So today, we're going to be focusing on how you can bring healing to yourself through moving the energy through your body through the appropriate channels. And there is some very deep and sacred wisdom and mantra associated with accomplishing this in the highest and best way. And uh, my spiritual teacher and spiritual father, uh, Dr. and Master Shah, has brought this wisdom to humanity. Um, the the channels that he speaks of been out there as long as recorded time can can remember but the mantra itself is something that he received through his communication with the soul world and each sound that we'll be using today will have a significant value to you and they will each assist in transferring blockages in not only the physical body but as well the emotional and mental body that of course will clear spiritual blockages and each of these sounds will be associated with an energy center or chakra in the body and or space cavity in which there could be energetic blockages as well <clears throat> so that's what you can look forward to today as we move into this practice in the last couple of days we had some exceptional uh, wisdom and practices come through on uh, Monday, we focused on the Lower Don Tian, the second energy center, and the purpose and significance of this energy center. Uh, the following day, I focused on um, uh, indirectly on the Kun Gong, and specifically how we can energize our body, and we used the mantra of creation and reverse creation, which is found in one of Dr. and Master Shah's newest books, Soul, Mind, Body, Science. And he put a special uh, calligraphy in that book along with a transmission of uh, significant power into that calligraphy. And as we traced it and chanted, <coughs> we created rejuvenation in our bodies. And that came with a explanation as to the nature of creation and reverse creation in terms of one creator becomes two heaven and earth heaven and earth be, uh, creates three human being and then three returns to two and two returns to one and in that video Tuesday that if you haven't seen it highly recommend you go back and watch it um, you can do that by going to my web page and scrolling uh, through it until you get to the Tuesdays um, but one of the great values of understanding what we worked with on that day <clears throat> was why we connect with heaven, why we connect with earth. How is it that in connecting with them, our frequency is raised? And then accordingly, the practices to do that. And so there is a, a lot of wisdom that has been shared these last couple of days. And then yesterday, we offered some in-depth teachings and wisdom and practices for the Kundalini. And that was exceptional as well. Thank you in every case to Dr. and Master Shah who has brought this most current uh, wisdom and the four power technique to bring about the, um, the healing opportunities that we have been receiving. And so today I will be focusing on what is known as the energy channel. It also has other names in other traditions. I actually don't know what names they're referred to in other traditions. But again, it's not new information in terms of what I'm going to be covering, but the mantra and some of the wisdom associated with it may be new to you, and that will serve you and your soul journey well, I am sure. So if you have not already, please hit the share button, let other people know about today's live event, and I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge everyone that's joined us here today, 
<coughs> Welcome Lisa, good to see you. Aloha Teresa. Welcome Kristen Strachan and Kristen Rojas. Welcome Donna Boana and CJ. Good to see you Monica, always great to see you. Such a good universal servant, amazing how, how, how uh, many servants. Welcome Nicole. Welcome Elizabeth, thank you for your kind comments the other day Elizabeth. Welcome Nina. Aloha Sherry. Welcome Linda. Good to see you Linda. Welcome Johannes. If you guys want to uh, to hear some beautiful acoustic music, go to Johannes' Facebook page. It's got some beautiful music on there. Welcome CJ. Uh, welcome Eleanor and Angelica Vasquez. Good to see you. Welcome Stephanie Zilke. Welcome Kathy Campbell and Carol. And let's see, Reina. Good to see you, Reina. Ailona and Christian. Uh, you know, if you can get yourself to Hawaii, Christian, I will find a way to put you in the suitcase. Welcome, Patrice. Welcome, Dave Russell. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, uh, Margaret. And welcome, Patricia. You still in Sedona, Patricia? Hope all is well over there. Miss my hometown. Welcome, Angie. Aloha, Ari. Okay. Anybody else who I've not mentioned yet? Love you, love you, love you. Thank you for joining. So let's go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul today. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, dropping our left hand in front of our heart center. Close your eyes. Let us fully connect. Dear beloved divine, the Tao and the source, original creator. Dear all beings of light, serving the plan of the light side. All stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. Dear beloved healing angels, archangels, masters, and ascended masters. Dear beloved Buddha, dear Jesus, dear Namo Amitofu, Kuan Yin, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Ganesha, dear beloved Krishna, dear all masters and ascended masters, dear Kahunas, dear the heavens animals, we love you, we honor, we respect you. All of our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints, love you, honor you, respect you. We ask you, as appropriate, to please come to be with each of us at this time and assist us on our soul journey. Come to sit in our heart centers. Bless us to open our souls, hearts, minds, and bodies to fully uh, understand our deeper reasons for being here on earth at this time. Bless us to transform our sufferings. Bless us to bring healing, love, kindness, generosity, and more to others. Please bless today's practice, wisdom, and teachings, and guide us. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you. Could you please come at this time? Please, as we chant love, peace, and harmony, join us. Bless us to offer service to all souls in all universes. And we invite all souls in all universes to join us at this time. Welcome, Yvonne. Welcome, Carol. Let us chant together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula. Oh, I was in the ring. Why run randly, Wong Ling Rong, her musher shong, shong I ping on a se, shong I ping on a se. I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula ha li lula, lula ha li lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai tuan ran li, wang ming rong her mu 
世生，相爱平安的些，相爱平安的些。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Something about that song just brings everything together. Beautiful. Thank you. Love, peace, and harmony. Welcome, Anne Marie Pierce. Uh, if you're new to this, I encourage you to stay the whole time. You might get some good value out of it. Today's subject is on bringing healing to our body through sacred uh, wisdom and mantra to help circulate the energy in the body. And. Uh, as indicated, this information has been uh, passed through to many different of the higher level teachings. Uh, sometimes it's called the microcosmic orbit. It has different terminologies associated with it. There's different channels, different ways energy flows depending on what we're trying to accomplish. Today we're going to focus on some of the wisdom and some specific sound power and mantra. And we will incorporate the four powers of soul power, mind power, body power, and uh, uh, my, uh, soul power, sound power, body power, and mind power uh, to bring about the appropriate uh, results. A lot of us have um, a consistent blockage in a certain area. Let's say the neck. Just can't seem to, 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 to move through that area. Lower back. Um, maybe we just have high blood pressure. Uh, maybe we have consistent a emotional fluctuations. It could be that we have pain in our lower extremities, our legs are just constantly nagging on us. There's a variety of ways in which blockages in the energy and matter channel occur. So in Dr. Master Shah's wisdom and teachings, he refers to these channels as the energy channel and the matter channel. Today we're going to be focusing on the energy channel. Now, give me a second, I'll be drinking some water here. The energy channel is a channel that connects the seven chakras in Master Shah's teaching. They're referred to as the seven soul houses. And this energy goes from the base of our torso in the first soul house. So everyone visualize at the base of your torso, in between your anus and your genitals, there is a, a energy point in the very, very uh, between the middle of them. This energy point uh, is called the Huiyin. <coughs> And it is, a, it is an exceptional acupuncture point. Obviously, it sounds painful to receive a needle there, but uh, it can literally bring you back to life. Um, so it is a very powerful point. It is called the yin point. It's where all the yin energies collect. Yin is Mother Earth energy. You've heard before of teachings where people have um, talked about energy coming through their feet, up through their legs. Where does it connect to? It connects to the yin point, the hui yin point. Now, just inside there is a, is a fist-sized energy center just inside the torso. And that would be your first chakra, also known as the first soul house. The second soul house is above that, and it is approximately an inch and a half below the belly button and two and a half inches inside the body. I say approximately because in Master Shah's teaching, he refers to a Chinese measurement called Sun, C -N. and technically it's the width of your thumb. Uh, at the widest point here. So I see the video is lagging a little bit. I'll try to clear the blockages with the video. Clearing the blockages with the video. Okay. I hope that we're going to have a much cleaner stream today. All right. So the um, the root chakra, the first chakra, is very important. It's just one of the seven we're going to be working with today with sound powers. Ah. 
I'm becoming frustrated at the video stream. I can see that it's skipping, and I know that makes your experience not as enjoyable as it could be. So I will do my best. Please forgive uh, this stream. And I ask the Divine Healing Hands Healers to please offer blessings to stabilize the frequency so that it's not impacting the stream. Thank you. The second chakra is, um, second soul house, is about an inch and a half below the belly button and about two and a half inches inside. The third one is directly behind the belly button. Now, I had an experience where uh, I thought the third chakra, the uh, sacral area, was actually above the belly button. But at least based on what my teacher, his third eye, and the teachers who taught him, they share that it actually it's directly behind the belly button. The fourth chakra, fourth soul house, is also referred to as the message center. And uh, the message center is inside, uh, just behind the chest plate, in between the nipples, just behind the chest plate, again, about two and a half inches inside. Very important energy center, chakra, excuse me. The fifth soul house is in the throat. So, so far, all of these are fist sized. The sixth one is in the center of the brain and it's cherry sized. Uh, it has a direct association to the third eye. And the seventh chakra, seventh soul house, is actually above the crown. And so there is a space that it runs down the back of the body. So that's the part that runs up through the body. The first soul house is the beginning of this energy cycle. So visualize light coming through the first soul house, up the second, third, through the heart center, fourth, fifth, up to the top of your head. Just about in the center of your body. It has to loop back down. Where it loops back down is... Uh, important to understand. <clears throat> There's a space that runs behind the, uh, the back of the body and this space was not realized just how wide it was. Master Shah's teacher, Dr. Master Guo, who was world-renowned in the China, I shouldn't say world-renowned, he was well-renowned in the country of China as, as being the, the one who brought uh, cures to the incurable. He had very uh, high-level connections to the divine, to, to source. And he was always receiving <clears throat> higher-level wisdom and information about how to bring healing to the hundreds and thousands of people who came to his, his uh, uh, healing clinics. And one of the visions that he was shown was there's a space in the body <clears throat> that's called the Wai Jiao. W-A-I, Jiao means space. J-A-I-O, Y jiao. And this runs from the back of the head to the widths of the shoulders all the way down to the base of the spine. And it's as wide as the body. And this space is in front of the spinal column. And so this entire space carries a great deal of blockages for us. A lot of blockages. And so it's very important to understand that because when we do practices, which we won't be doing today, for this space called the Wai Jiao, or when you hear about it and you, you hear about uh, possible blessings to receive for this area, literally somebody could receive a blessing for the Wai Jiao, headaches could go away, uh, stomach problems could disappear, lower back problems could become diminished. There's a lot of blockages associated with this huge space that runs from the top of the head down to the base of the spine, uh, in front of the spine, because it's a very large space in which blockages can occur in. So the, the energy channel runs from the first soul house through the seven soul houses over the top of the head, back down through the Y jiao in front of the spine, all the way back down to the base uh, energy center, base root chakra, and then back up. Okay, That is the flow of the energy channel. Now, why is it called an energy channel? The other channel is called the rejuvenation channel. So they actually do different things. The one that flows in this direction up through the body and then back down in front actually brings flow of chi in our body. This is the flow that brings us uh, healing itself. Healing is needed when we're out of balance. Out of balance is out of balance in yin and yang. It could be uh, out of balance in our emotional body. It could be out of balance in our physical body. We could have too much energy on top of our head and not enough base energy. And so when any of these areas are out of balance, then we lack energy. A simple one sentence secret is energy flows, blood follows. 
and so this is associated with Eastern traditional medicine and so that's what they try to accomplish when they use acupuncture when they use herbs when they use fire massage and various other method methodologies and even Tai Chi and Qigong those are methodologies to move Qi to move energy because they know when energy moves then sickness cannot remain or cannot as easily remain <clears throat> so this practice and the mantra associated with this practice can have significant significant health benefits for you uh, one only needs to look at some of the history of for example doing the practice of meditation doing the practice of Tai Chi and Qigong when someone does these practices diligently every day 30 minutes every day there is record after record after historical record of a much longer healthier life but all they're doing is moving their body right all they're doing is moving their hands and following a specific path all they're doing is stretching in a specific way Tai Chi Qigong no that's not all they're doing they're moving the Qi the blood follows therefore the stagnation that may have been in those areas dissipates and healing occurs so it's a very common sense process when we stop and think about it but most of us we get so bottled up in our daily life in our work in our relationships in our problems uh, that we just don't take the time to do even 30 minutes of a consistent practice one of the beautiful things about this practice that I'll be sharing with you today is that it can accomplish a substantial amount of healing and movement in our body while we're sitting still. So you can actually do this at a break time at work. You can do this um, not as efficiently, but it absolutely can be done, for example, when you're driving or you're stuck in traffic. You don't have to close your eyes to do the practice. Uh, obviously, if you did and you were totally focused, you would have a better result. But one of the beautiful things about soul power is when we invoke the souls using soul power that they are working regardless and so it's the creative visualization and the body posture that can additionally assist but if we just invoke the soul power and do the appropriate mantras we can create significant results even sitting in a car waiting for the traffic to move so let us move forward with some of the um, mantra information as I said, this um, awareness, these uh, chakras and the movement of the energy through this uh, channel is not new information. What Dr. and Master Shah has brought through uh, his teachings is a higher frequency mantra to go with this practice. <clears throat> and there are many, many um, initiates that will do the practice visually. They'll visualize light going through, light going through. That's great. The sound power is very, very important as well because if you use the highest and best appropriate sound, then it's, it's very much like running a high frequency hose, like a fire hose versus a garden hose clearing out the area. The higher the frequency of that sound, the better the results of the clearing of the blockages through that energy channel. That's why this new mantra has such power. It carries a, a mantra sound that was given to Master Shah through his heavenly connections. The other part, as I indicated, is the soul. <clears throat> Everyone and everything has a soul. That means your first chakra has a soul. That means all of your chakras and your Y Jiao and the energy channel have a soul. So it's very important to connect with all of these inner souls as well as the outer souls. We invited in Divine Tao and Source and all the holy beings at the beginning. We will ask them to assist us with this. That's like turbocharging whatever efforts you're making. And this again is newer wisdom that has not been available through all the traditional practices. Give me a moment. Now, <coughs> there is a CD that you can purchase it's called the Divine Soul Song of Yin Yang write that down Divine Soul Song of Yin Yang <clears throat> you can purchase it through any of Master Shah's healing centers including the one in Honolulu you can purchase it from Dr. Master Shah's website in the products section the reason I'm telling you about it is because it gives you the easiest way to remember this mantra we're going to be chanting and when you chant it with the music 
uh, with Dr. Master Shah and the frequency that he carries, your benefits could be dramatically enhanced. So you're not expected to memorize this today. It's very melodic. You'll enjoy it. Uh, but I wanted to tell you that up front so that you had that. The Divine Soul Song of Yin Yang. So, <clears throat> his website is drsha.com for those that are new. There is a sound for each of the energy centers. Hey, repeat, hey, hey, hey. You write it down for you the best way that you can remember it. The spelling is H-E-I. But if you can remember it by writing H-E-Y, great. I write things down phonetically so I can remember them the way my mind thinks. That's the first chakra, the root chakra, first soul house. The second sound power is for the second chakra. It is called Hong, uh, Hung, 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 H-E-N-G, Hung. It sounds like somebody uh, uh, hung from the, from the uh, roof, uh, H. E-N-G is the spelling. The third soul house is Hong, H-O-N-G, Hong, Hong, Hong. <clears throat> Thank you, Kristen, for posting the link to the products page for the CDs. So if you're interested in this, in this uh, music associated with this mantra we'll be chanting, you can go there. The fourth soul house, ah, just like ah, Dr. Sistic out your tongue, ah. <clears throat> the fifth sound, the fifth uh, uh, sound for the fifth soul house is she, she. The, the spelling is S-I, the pronunciation is S-H-E, she. The sixth soul house is ye, Y-I, ye, 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 ye. Spelling Y-I, phonetically for me it's Y-E-E. -E. The seventh soul house is Wong, W-E-N-G, Wong, Wong. Wong, repeat, Wong, 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 okay? So I'll repeat from first to seven. The first one is, hey. The second one is, hung, hung, hung. The third one is, hong, O-N-G, hong, hong, hong. Fourth, soul house, the heart center, ah, ah. The fifth one, she, she, she. The sixth soul house, third eye, ye, 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 Y I, ye, ye, ye. The top one, Wong, W E N G, Wong, Wong, Wong. <coughs> the sound power for the Y Jiao, the space that runs from the top of her head down to the base of our torso, is yo. Yo, yo, like yo, dude, yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. So, when we chant this mantra, it will sound something like this, and we'll do it uh, uh, slowly at first and speed up. I'll give you the visualization and all that. Right now, I'm just going to give you an example of the sound power. Hey, hung, hong, ah, shi, yi, wong, yo. What are we doing? We're chanting to boost and elevate frequency, vibration, power, and move the energy. In the first, hey, hung, Hong, that's the third. Ah, she, yi, wong, yo. Everybody put your hand in front of your first soul house. And as I chant, lift your hands to go in front of the next soul house. Hey, hung, hong, ah, ah, you should be in front of your heart center. Ah, she, yi, wong, yo. Yo runs down your back. Again, hey, hung, hung, ah, she, yi, wong, yo. Hey, hung, hong, ah, she, yi, wong, yo. Hey, hung, Hong ah she wong yo continue hey hung hong ah she wong yo hey hung hong ah 
希望有。Now I want you to try it without moving your hands. Place both hands over your lower abdomen, at least for now, <clears throat> and visualize the light going to the associated soul house as you hit that mantra sound. We'll start at the base chakra, the first soul house. Close your eyes, visualize, and chant with me. Hey, hung, hong, ah, she. Wong Yo He Hung Hong A Shi Wong Yo Okay, so I think you have a pretty good uh, understanding of the flow of the sound power. As we chant it, we're going to be chanting in a good 10 minutes at least, maybe a little bit longer. You will definitely become familiar with the tune, the tone, and you'll have opportunity to move it around your body successfully. Kristen has posted the, the verbiage, the, the words, the way they're spelled in one of our chant boxes. You can see it there. Now, this is called the energy channel. So we want to heal. This is a healing channel. We want to heal an aspect of your body. So choose an aspect that is imbalanced. It could be an emotion. It could be a mind imbalance. It could be a physical suffering. <clears throat> and we're going to connect with that. And we're going to ask it to serve along with you. And we're also going to do a forgiveness practice, okay? So placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. Repeat after me if it feels comfortable to you. Please repeat. Dear the soul, of the mantra, He, Hung, Hong, Ah, Shi, Yi, Wong, Yo. The soul of my energy channel and my seven soul houses and Wai Jiao. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please bring healing to my body as I chant? this mantra. Thank you. Dear all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source, all the holy beings, guides, angels, and saints, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas, and my heaven's team, I love you. I invite you to chant with me and to bless my energy channel so that I can clear blockages to heal and to be a better servant for humanity. Thank you. So we connected to the inner souls, we connected to the outer souls. That's the soul power. Let us continue <clears throat> with forgiveness. Dear the soul of my seven soul houses and my Wai Jiao and my energy channel, I love you. Please forgive me for creating blockages in your service. Please forgive me for anything that I may have done that has caused you to malfunction and not flow the energy properly. Dear all souls in all time, if I have brought harm to you physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, if I have taught you wrong teachings, for the seven soul houses, the Wai Jiao, and your energy channel. If I have created emotional blockages that have kept you from healing, if I have done anything to harm you, please, please forgive me. I deeply, deeply, and sincerely apologize. I forgive you unconditionally for anything that you you may have done to me. Let us chant together for our healing and rejuvenation. Thank you. <clears throat> Body power. <clears throat> Put one hand on your lower abdomen, one hand on that dip in your back. Since we are moving the uh, frequency, actually, um, let me show you a different body power by choice, it might be a bit uncomfortable depending on how long your arms are and how 
comfortable you are. <coughs> okay, phone hiccup there a minute. So body power, let's change that body power. If you can reach the center of your palm underneath your torso, left hand for the men underneath their torso, right hand for the women. Left hand for the men underneath their torso, right hand for the women. Now, if you cannot reach there, if it's uncomfortable, if your wrist gets bent uncomfortably, <clears throat> gently point your palm close to the base of your torso with your intention on the base of your torso. Left hand men, right hand women on the base of your torso. The free hand would go gently above your head. You don't want to push down on the top of your crown. You want it to kind of float up there, okay? <clears throat> this is your body power. Close your eyes. Visualization. <clears throat> you would keep your focus on your first soul house, but you will see clearly the light going in a circle up through the seven soul houses, back down in front of your spine, up through the seven soul houses, back down in front of your spine, but your focus will remain on your first soul house. Sound power is Hei Hung Hung Ah Shi Wong Yo. So with your eyes closed, let us begin. Hey hung hung ah, I'll go slowly, sorry. <clears throat> hey hung hung ah, she wong you. Hey hung hung ah, she wong yo. Hey hung hung ah. She won you. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she won you. <coughs> so sorry. Again, a little bit faster. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she won. Yo, hey, hung, hung, ah, she wong. Yo, remember the yo is when the light runs from the top of your head down in front of your spine. Continue. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she wong. Yo. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, yo. A little bit faster. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, yo. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, yo. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, you. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, you. <clears throat> so do not get caught up on clearly visualizing the light going to each soul house. See it gently going around the whole body, keeping your focus on the first one. Continue. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, you. 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 A little bit faster now. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, you. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, you. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, you. Hey, hung, hung, ah, 
希望哟，嘿哼哼啊希望哟，嘿哼哼啊希望哟，嘿哼哼啊希望哟。嘿哼哼啊，希望哟！嘿哼哼啊，希望哟！嘿哼哼啊，希望哟！嘿哼哼啊，希望哟！嘿哼哼啊，希望哟！Now I will chant for you. I want you to chant with me if it's comfortable for you. If not, just visualize the light going through your seven soul houses over the top of your head and back down in front of your spine. Focus on the visualization. See the darkness clearing as the light permeates these areas. Hey, hung hung, are she wong you? 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 Now I want you to move your hands. One hand over your heart center, and one hand in that dip in your back, right where that dip of your back is. I want you to tap, 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 tap with your fists, gentle in both spots. Tap on that dip in your back. Tap in your heart while I chant. Hey, hung hung, a she wong you. 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 Continue to see the light through your seven soul houses, over the top of your head, back down in front of your spine. See how clear your body is now as it runs through this circle. Continue to chant your heart center. Continue to chant. The Ming Men point the dip in your lower back. You may chant with me if you feel comfortable. Hey, hung hung, are she wong you? 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 Hey, hung hung, a she wong you. 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 Keep the main focus on the first soul house, but see the light going around the circle. Hey, hung hung, a she wong you.
起翁哟，嘿哼哼啊，起翁哟。Continue to visualize. I will offer a reading at this time. If you know the mantra, continue to chant. If not, continue to visualize as I offer this reading. This is the soul of the seven soul houses. To have a mantra for our Success is of the greatest importance at this time for human beings. So many in humanity are completely unaware, one could say oblivious, to the understanding that they are souls, that they are made of energy and matter, that we, the seven soul houses, are beyond important. To the entirety of the health and well-being of the human vessel, to be able to have our sound power chanted, to be able to communicate with each other, from the first through the seventh, is beyond measure of great value. It is the lack of communication from one soul house to the next that is a great source of almost every blockage. In humanity, it is a lack of flow through the whole channel. It is a great source of almost every health issue associated with humanity, for in between the seven soul houses and the Wai Jiao, in our area itself lies the great deal of humanity's karmic blockages, and in the chanting, in the movement of the frequencies. Through our channel, we are able to self-clear. We are able to heal, regenerate, and boost our own power. It is much like allowing us to feel the sun's great shining for the first time in a long time. If you were stuck in a cabin in the woods in the middle of the night for days upon nights upon days upon nights, and there was no such thing as sunlight. It would feel pretty dark, and so it is for much of the seven soul houses when we are not addressed and given an opportunity to clear and purify. My statement to you all is to chant this mantra daily, for with this we can serve you beyond your comprehension. It is my honor, as a spokesperson for the seven soul houses. To share with you the importance of this mantra. <coughs> How? Let us continue. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she wong yo. 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 Continue to visualize the light going around. Ask yourself, how are you feeling as you continue to see the light circulate? Is that pain in your back a little better? Is that headache gone? Is the discomfort that you came in with dissipated? Continue to chant. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she wong you. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she wong yo. 
As I chant faster, you can see the light going faster, but keep your focus on your first soul house, and this way you will not get dizzy. Hey hung hung a she wong yo, 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 hey hung hung a she wong yo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us bow our head nine times to all of the holy beings that offered their blessings here today and to the soul of this mantra. And we bow our heads to heaven for bringing this mantra to earth that it can serve us to become more familiar with our energy body, to bring healing and transformation to our energy body. Thank you, thank you, thank you, heaven down source. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you to the soul of this mantra. So I saw a few people sharing already. Kristen Strachan is sitting in traffic and she shared that uh, she actually has been sitting in traffic and she actually feels much less tired and less hungry than she did before because she just got off work and I imagine she is hungry. How are the rest of you feeling after this practice? This is usually a very energizing practice. <clears throat> it's, uh, if you do it for the length of time that we've been doing it, it's almost impossible to not feel better after a practice of this nature. Truly is very, very um, beneficial in so many ways. Because it doesn't, um, it doesn't hinge on any of the one soul houses. It, it brings energy to each of the soul houses. And the flow, uh, actually I was expecting to have explanations as to what was happening for each of us. But that's not what came through. Instead... Uh, an emissary for the seven soul houses came and said this is the value and purpose of this practice I mean I understood that but I was kind of happy to see that <clears throat> um, that uh, that explanation came through for for your all learning <clears throat> excuse me because it is it is very important to understand that and science validates this 99% of everything everything a table a piece of metal Everything, including the human body, 99% is actually space in between the matter that bounces off of each other. There is 99% more space than there is matter. And that's no different in the human body. And so the space between our seven soul houses, our chakras, can become very, very thickened with spiritual depths. Um, the, soul, the soul houses themselves are, are very much like power stations. Visually speaking, imagine, uh, choose the major city you're in, right, or near, okay? Think of another major city, however far away it is, 100 miles, 50 miles, 2,000 miles. Think of the next major city. Now imagine you had a power station in your city, okay? Imagine you had a huge pumping power station, and it starts pumping out power, and it sends this power down this transmission line. It will keep going, 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 but the power tails off. It cannot go more than 40, 50 miles without the power tailing off. If you notice power companies, electrical power companies, what they do is about every 40, 50 miles, they have power stations that pump the power back up and keep pushing it down the line. Without power stations along the way, the energy does not keep going at the same frequency and at the same current. There's no way it can make it from city to city without something in the middle picking that power back up and pushing it through. 
our seven soul houses are all power stations. They're, they allow the heaven's energy and the earth's energy that comes through us to get pumped through this physical vessel free of encumberments. But what happens is our spiritual debts, our karma, our physical blockages, our emotional blockages, our mental blockages, our spiritual blockages, our mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, egos, and attachments, our selfishness, all the different soul, heart, mind, body, energy, and matter blockages, they reside in and between these seven soul houses. So one soul house cannot talk to the next. There was a student that uh, commented yesterday about a blockage in the throat uh, area. And this is associated uh, with multiple things, including the inability to uh, express themselves, lack of confidence, lack of willpower, and more, more uh, directly, a, br a blockage between the heart center and the mind. So the mind will make a majority of the decisions because it can't hear the heart. And this can bring problems in your life. So that's a, an example of a blockage in between the seven soul houses. And we have a variety of these. So when we chant uh, to, to bring clearing through the entirety of our vessel, we are helping every aspect of the potential blockages that can be in each one of the seven soul houses. I offered teachings two or three months ago, one day at a time on each of the soul houses. Uh, and it was right out of one of Dr. Master Shah's books. I believe it was Soul, Mind, Body, uh, excuse me, it was um, Dao Song, Dao Dance. Phenomenal book, go get it. Um, and it spoke about the significance of each one of the soul houses, what they're related to, what organs, what systems, what emotions, what health blockages they're, they're potentially related to. And we worked on each soul house, one by one by one, the Y Jiao and the Energy Channel and the Matter Channel. Um, no time today to even begin to go into these things. But uh, uh, you're welcome to go back to my archives. I show you how, right above my video, shows you how you got to be a friend on my Facebook page, but you can go back into my video archives by following those instructions and, uh, and watch those. I will do those again in a series, uh, probably when I return from Toronto um, a couple weeks from now. Uh, but in the meantime, understand that each one of the, the chakras, each one of the soul houses, have a direct association to our emotions, our organs, our systems, our health, well-being. And they're, they're not, they're some superimposed over each other, but they could have a very unique separation. As an example, the first soul house um, has a lot of associations with relationships, has some association with finances, and a tremendous amount of association with our overall life force energy. It's the gear at the bottom of the sea. It is if you if you know if you ever look at gears just imagine one gear grinding upon the next you know doing this thing okay usually there's one big gear and then a bunch of smaller gears coming off of it the first soul house is the big gear you don't have enough juice going to that guy the rest of the gears aren't going to be moving that well that's one reason why i had you continue to focus on the first soul house okay <clears throat> another reason why is so uh, if we if we keep our intention on this circle, we might be a little bit dizzy. We don't want to do that. Always keep your focus in the lower part of your body. And so these practices all tie into each other. Each one of these practices serve to awaken your energy body, to self-clear your karmic blockages. Each one of these practices are purposeful to assist you to receive healing and rejuvenation. I see some wonderful comments, you know, focused on, you know, you're awesome, this, that. Guys, it's not me. Everything I'm teaching is from Dr. and Master Shah. I knew none of this until I learned it. I'm just teaching you what I've learned. Please give credit to the right soul. He's a beautiful soul, and we owe him that credit. Um, and you can learn more about him, drsha.com. Now, yesterday uh, I talked on something I want to bring it back up again today in case it's of interest to you. Yesterday I spoke about the Kundalini. The day one I spoke about the Lower Dantian. Tien. Um, uh, I spoke about creation and reverse creation. Today I'm, I'm speaking about the energy channel. Each one of our chakras, each one of our energy centers takes time to form, takes time to, to heal and rejuvenate and clear the blockages. If you were a monk sitting on a mountain, it would take you hundreds and hundreds of lifetimes to create a two inch fist sized golden solid light ball that in essence represents purity and trouble freeness. It would take you hundreds upon hundreds, potentially thousands of lifetimes to have that size of a dense jindon, it's called, in each of your uh, chakras, 
or in each of your energy centers, such as the Kundalini. One of the very, very unique things about Dr. and Master Shah is he brings to humanity the opportunity to have these areas uh, cleared and a, a, a two inch sized, fist sized uh, golden light ball that would take you literally hundreds and hundreds of years to create on your own and you get it instantly. Shen Qi Jing blockages are cleared, instantly you're given this golden light ball, it, it stays with you all lifetimes and you are dramatically ahead for all lifetimes on your soul journey. Whatever associations that have blockages in those areas, if it's a heart center, for example, you get a new heart center, all the old, I shouldn't say all, a great majority of the blockages are cleared, brand new heart center comes in that karma free, light wall protection surrounds, and you literally have a new lease on life in so many ways. For some reason, you're not as emotionally thrown off as before. Uh, you can make far clearer and better decisions. You uh, potentially uh, release a lot of negativity and become a lot more positive. Uh, depression, depression or depressive thoughts could diminish dramatically. Why? Because those are the specific things associated with the heart center. You might have intestinal issues where constant constipation, constant blockages in the lower part of the body, uh, constant uh, kidney issues. That's associated with the second and third chakras and so forth. So each of these can impact health and well-being. Dr. Master Shah has transmitted the authorities to worldwide representatives such as myself, Master Abhi's joined, she has these same abilities, and we can transmit a, a healing and transmission system which clears the blockages, saves you hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lifetimes of, of self-work, give you a brand new Jin Don, give you a light bulb protection, and you're on your path to immortality, you're on your path to having a light body. It is nothing short of extraordinary. He has done this in front of people that are gurus, people that are extremely advanced and, and very, very powerful third eyes, and their chin hits the ground when they see this. They're like, I, and I've worked my whole life and I don't have these opportunities to experience this. And the size of, of my light ball in this area, they, they know it's about half of what he just transmitted in seconds. So this is the kind of healing and rejuvenation that's available to you. Yesterday I released, and it's only available uh, uh, till the end of this month. That's as much as I can do it. <clears throat> uh, you have an opportunity to get three energy centers. Three. The heart chakra, the lower Don Tian, which is the second energy center, and the Kundalini. All three. They normally don't come in a package together like this. They normally come in two different packages. But the combination of those three has an honor fee of only 300 and I mentioned yesterday I paid personally I paid that much for one of them and so to be able to get all three of them to have lifetimes cleared and to get those is not a small thing so I have pointed that out if you're interested you know how to contact me Facebook Messenger my website lots of different ways to get a hold of me um, please consider it uh, save up for it if you need to tomorrow tomorrow I will be focusing on the uh, rejuvenation channel <clears throat> and the rejuvenation channel literally helps you get younger who wants to look younger who wants to look healthier who wants to have reverse of their aging uh, everybody wants to feel younger happier healthier everybody wants to reverse their aging and this mantra for this wisdom will help you to accomplish that and so we will be focusing on that tomorrow so I hope you join me for that okay uh, I didn't get to read too much of your sharing. I'm going to go back and touch on that. Okay. So thank you, Kristen, for posting. Uh, Katalina, uh, Katina, excuse me. Welcome, Katina. Tears were coming out while you were doing this. Very powerful. The tears were probably soul tears. You know, your soul is overjoyed. It knows what is beneficial to its, its journey. The soul knows. We can't always hear the soul because we have mind blockages. This clears those blockages. The soul knows the solutions and the answers. I encourage you to keep coming back. Watch my Facebook live stream every day, same time, Monday through Friday. Um, Master Avenger, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your service. I'm heart touched. Your light is so strong. Master Shah's light, I'm just a servant. Thank you. Doing practices with you is so powerful. I do this practice often, but now could feel blockages. Um, Let's see, I had to open it up. Now I can feel blockages. You're clearing away many blockages in us and also on Facebook. 
Master Vinda has a wide open third eye. She says, I saw the soul of Facebook appear in tears. Wow. And started to do the practice with you for the seven soul houses. So this, for all those that are new, think outside the box. Everything has a soul. Every soul wants to serve. Every soul wants to return to the source of its creator. Facebook has a soul. And Master Vinda has a very powerful third eye. And she said she saw the soul of Facebook joining in the chanting very grateful so wonderful sharing thank you uh loveness she feels amazing wonderful and eleanor feels much more clear eleanor especially for you with all the blessings you've received this is very important for you it's very important for everybody but eleanor i know a little bit more about your conditions if you did this you just walked around the house chanting this eleanor you would be outside walking no problem in a week or two uh teresa <clears throat> yes, feels wide awake now, throat not scratchy now, good. And then CJ, wow, that was powerful, back pain is gone. Uh-huh. What did I mention in the beginning? No promises. Why is it there? Energy, where energy flows, blood follows. Very simple. She saw rainbow light pillars, flowers blooming, so amazing, so grateful. Thank you for your teaching. Very, very welcome. Olivia, welcome Olivia. If you just came in, hopefully you'll watch the whole, uh, the whole live stream. It'll go to a recording phase as soon as I push stop. And it takes about uh, three to four minutes and then you can watch it again. Anne-Marie Pierce, sending love and light to you, Master Paul. Thank you, Anne-Marie, and thanks for joining. Uh, and then Katina, thank you for your comments. Sarah, um, okay. Again, thank you everyone. Uh, please offer your gratitude to Master Shah. Please offer your gratitude to the Divine for um, bringing that wisdom through uh, this universal servant. I, I really appreciate Dr. Master Shah because he never takes credit. And he teaches his students like myself. You never take credit. You, you just serve. Um, so I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve you. I truly appreciate your comments, but I ask you to redirect them. So... Um, let us offer our gratitude. Thank you, Divine. Thank you, Tao. Thank you, Source. <clears throat> Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you, uh, Buddha, Jesus, Mother Mary, all the beings of light that came at this time. We thank you to our seven soul houses uh, for their unconditional service to help us and our energy bodies. We thank uh, uh, the soul of Facebook for its beautiful service to be able to deliver to so many thousands of people wisdom that could potentially bring healing to them and change their life. Tonight, I invite you to come to Master Shah's Healing Center in Honolulu via webcast. It will start in about three or four hours. It's called the 21 Day Challenge. It's the official challenge through uh, the center. Uh, it's a $25 honor fee. And for 21 days, you will be with a group of hundreds. Um, you'll do it on your own, but there will be hundreds along with you. So the power is extraordinary, and there will be special blessings offered to those. You get your own mentor <clears throat> and the opportunity to do something very specific for 21 days to clear any blockage that you know you have a major blockage with. We did this a few weeks ago. It was uh, less potent because it was not backed by the center and all of the power that's at Master Shah's Tao Healing Center, whereas this will be. <clears throat> you can find it by going to drsha.com, click on events, and then go down to United States and Hawaii. drsha.com, events, United States and Hawaii. And then uh, you register there and follow the instructions when you get the email back. Kristen, she's been on top of things all day. I love her. She's just an awesome job. Uh, she'll probably post a link if she hasn't already. So love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.